Hey friends, this is Dolan ETV. Glad to have you aboard this afternoon. So we get set up to kind of recap what went on last night for the Edmonton Oilers against the Anaheim Ducks and look forward to hopefully more of the same tonight against the LA Kings. Friends, the Oilers won. We're back in the win column. The last two times we've won a hockey game following a loss, we've gone on to win seven more and 15 more. So in terms of Going on to win some more hockey games. I like our chances here over the past Chris Knobloch era. So as we continue along as well, friends, this is a video dedicated about Corey Perry and kind of what elements he brings to the Oilers squad already based on what we're seeing here early on in the first few games. So buckle up. Normally at this time I'd ask you to subscribe. We'll forgo that right now because obviously, again, I want to pass along a huge thank you to each and every one of you that have hit that subscribe button here over the past several months, over the past several years, over the past 10 years, if you're tuning in all the way back from the Axe City Gaming Days. Appreciate you being aboard, and thank you so much for making that number a reality. Friends, when it comes down to it for the Edmonton Oilers, Corey Perry is an absolute gem to have in this lineup. You've got the super skill in Connor McDavid and Leon Draisaitl, You've got a great support player in Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Whether you want to blame this or that of his game, he is a perfect complimentary piece to those two. You've got a guy like Zach Hyman who is an absolute workhorse, absolutely dummies in the offensive zone, having a career year or what could be a career year. You've also got a guy like Evander Kane who is a pivotal piece of an Oilers playoff team when healthy. And then now you add in a guy like Corey Perry and all the other pieces we have up front. And you kind of start seeing a bigger picture evolve here. And what we got treated to last night was a second line that I don't think we've seen the Oilers have in a long, long while, right? I, I honestly just caught the highlights, so I can't talk too deeply into it. But what, what highlights I did see, which is what everybody's seen, Corey Perry stick lifting the stick out of John Gibson's hands, Oilers score shortly after, right? That kind of stuff, those shenanigans, those antics from Corey Perry are the exact reason, whether it be Corey Perry or Ryan Kessler, we lost to the Ducks in 2017, right? The Oilers squad was pretty dang good that year and quite honestly did probably on a call that again is going to go down in history as one of the most debatable in Oilers franchise history um, right could have gone either way the Oilers could have been on their way to winning uh, at least the second round and if you get into the third round how much that changes the course of what's happened since then I don't know but you, you kind of understand the idea here right friends is way back when the Oilers decided to get back on the playoff scene the one thing that cost us is the one thing we have now, and not necessarily saying Ryan Kessler, but uh, Corey Perry, which is just as good. And the best part about it, I've seen a whole bunch of coverage today about Corey Perry's antics against Anaheim, kind of right, the whole hoopla of being back in Anaheim, and Anaheim fans booing Corey Perry and that whole deal. And it's, it's kind of a sideways parallel universe kind of situation, honestly, looking at it from this lens. But the favorite part I have about this is the fact that Corey Perry, despite being an advanced age in terms of a hockey player, uh, obviously so many years removed from the prime of his career, is still just as effective of a player as Corey Perry was back then in terms of what made Corey Perry an effective player outside of goal scoring. And that sure, I am sure will come, but the best part here is the Oilers are getting the Corey Perry that we wanted to get when we wanted to sign him or even wanted to trade him or trade for him when he was on the Chicago Blackhawks prior to that incident. So for us fans, I, I'm absolutely loving this, right? And I, I think this Anaheim Ducks game was perfect. I think obviously Vegas was exactly who we needed to snap the losing streak. I, I've, I'd said that to multiple people off air saying, you know what, it's going to be Vegas. Simply put, I'd rather lose to Vegas in the regular season and beat them in the playoffs then beat them in the regular season, feel really good about ourselves, and then get beat up in the playoffs. So take the lumps now. Hopefully it all works out later. And obviously now dividends already starting to be paid early on from Corey Perry. That, my friends, is a huge, huge get. I really am excited to see what he has for us in store the rest of the way. And obviously, again, against a bottom tier team like Anaheim, there's not lots to celebrate but you already are seeing the dividends, like I'm saying. And the big thing is, too, you can elevate Corey Perry at times, right? If the opponent's down a note, you can elevate Corey Perry to further, well, 
continue their misery and that's kind of what we did not saying the Anaheim Ducks were down and out at the point in the game where Corey Perry turned things for us I'm saying the Anaheim Ducks are down and out this season and elevating Corey Perry in a game like that is going to be fantastic because it just allows him to run amok kind of get more comfortable with the team and then as well contribute to what was a huge win for the Oilers because despite these two winning streaks, the 8-gamer and the 16-gamer, there's still work to do this season. We aren't a sure to play off spot. We got to go out there and keep winning. And obviously, the more wins we rack up here prior to the trade deadline, the better we position ourselves for going into the playoffs. So excited for that. I do want to add, add, add at the same time say that uh, Calvin Card again continues to Prove to the Oilers that they don't necessarily need to go get a backup goaltender, right? I mean, if the goal is the same as last year, lean on Skinner, ride or die in the playoffs, I think then, yes, 100% Cal Picard can be the guy to back him up in the playoffs. I'm, I'm absolutely baffled, to be honest, by it, uh, seeing what Cal Picard, after a few seasons in and out of the NHL here over the past few has decided to do this season and I mean good on him love to see it I know Baco is excited and I know those uh, friends going down to the uh, sta well crypto.com arena I was going to call it stable center uh, crypto.com arena here on tonight's game those friends from Bakersfield would have loved to see it flip-flopped would have loved to see Stu over in uh, the Anaheim game and seen Calvin Card in the Kings game because to see their guy the guy that's been there kind of leading the way over the past year year and a half whatever um, now all of a sudden absolutely rocking it with big club that is awesome but friends that's that's really the big wrap that I have on this game is again for something I just caught some few highlights of uh, there's a lot of talking points and the one talking point I'm absolutely happy with is the dividends that Corey Perry is already paying that extra grease in the lineup that we definitely needed right you go back to 2017 that was the difference you know what, if we have that this year and that ends up being the difference, we're all going to laugh and enjoy ourselves rather good. So, friends, I'm Tyson. This is Dolan TV. Thank you so much for being aboard here this afternoon. There is no live stream tonight. I guess that's where I'm kind of trending to next is I've got a friend's birthday party, so go take care of that. And obviously, I uh, have myself a good relaxing night. The Oilers will take care of business, and we'll get back on the winning train here in style hopefully against the LA Kings and then we'll talk to you of course tomorrow morning as we gun up what will be a big day on Dolany TV. I'm planning uh, quite a uh, quite a few things if I can put it all together here tomorrow. So friends, like I said, I'm Tyson this is Dolany TV. Enjoy your night and as always if you have anything to let me know in the comments section below about last night's game that I might have missed, I'd love to hear it. I am up on Odie here.